Emerging from the explosion of indie cinema that lit up the 1990s, Quentin Tarantino is considered one of the greatest directors of his generation. From making his debut in 1992 with Reservoir Dogs, through films such as the game-changing 1994 picture Pulp Fiction, the ultra-violent blockbuster Kill Bill, and the historically voguish Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Tarantino has confirmed himself as a genuine auteur. I love you, pumpkin. I love you, honey bunny. Everybody be cool, this is a robbery! And the obscure fucking pigs move! Of course, as a bona fide movie nerd, Tarantino could likely reel off a list of hundreds of movies he has loved, cherished, and even stolen from. The movies that have sparked creativity or inspired certain avenues of artistry. However, when posed the question about which were the most influential for the young Tarantino, he replied simply and quickly. The Good and the Bad and the Ugly, Mario Bava's Black Sabbath, and uh, Adam Costello meet Frankenstein. Each of these three movies has vital directions that Tarantino would apply to his own filmmaking. Let's take a closer look. It's easy to see how Sergio Leone's The Good, The Bad and The Ugly has influenced Tarantino. It's rich with self-referential moments of cinematic glory. Destroying the image of the cowboy as an all-American hero, Leone uses violence, realism and a flourish of style that Tarantino would regularly lean on in his own movies. The famous showdown finale in the bloodied and bullet-ridden bullring is not only one of Tarantino's favourite shots of all time, but something that the director has used in almost every movie he's ever made. Of course, there are references to Leon's work in his westerns Django Unchained and The Hateful Eight, but also moments of reflection in Reservoir Dogs, Pulp Fiction and even True Romance. Ghosts. Not only did Mario Barber provide a certain brummy rock band with the perfect name for their heavy metal experiment, but with his movie Black Sabbath, he helped steer young Quentin Tarantino into a path of cinematic bliss. Black Sabbath, actually, I, I be, Mario Bava became one of the first directors that I got to know by name because I saw Black Sabbath on late night television and would like, kind of look forward to seeing it pop up again. He's a great Italian horror filmmaker. It may not be particularly easy to showcase the natural connections between Barber's B-movie classic and Tarantino's work, but the understated humour of the piece, the crescendoing finale, and the way Barber delivered a unique style of his own, all left an impression on the young filmmaker. Count Dracula sleeps in this coffin but rises every night at sunset. Chick is right, this is awful silly stuff. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein is perhaps the most unusual pick on Tarantino's list of inspirational movies. However, the comedy duo of Bud Abbott and Lou Costello were huge figures of hilarity in their day, and their slapstick shtick was met perfectly with Tarantino's love of horror movies. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein is that was probably my favorite movie when I was really, really, really young. And um, and the thing about it, why I think it was so influential is I remember at that time period, my two favorite movies, types of movies in the world were monster movies. And in particular, I, you know, like I guess the universal monster movies uh, from the 30s and 40s, the 30s. And... Um, and, and uh, uh, screwball comedy, not screwball comedies, but uh, uh, physical comedy. The director also noted that when the two genres combined, it blew his mind and showed him that genres weren't necessarily meant to be kept apart. The director would use this mishmash of style throughout his illustrious career. The magnitude of the career of Quentin Tarantino is pretty hard to comprehend. However, when you look through his bountiful filmography, it is easy to find the threads of each of those movies running back to these three inspirational films. Mm -hmm. 